If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform these shot glasses into a lovely rhinestone embellished blingy gift set, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So today in this video, I am going to be adding some rhinestone embellishments to these shot glasses. So these little shot glasses, I believe they're 1.2 ounce. And I like it because it has this big chunky area at the bottom. That's why I plan on adding majority of the rhinestones. And I think I'll just leave that part. I'll just leave that part be. But I just wanted to see what that would look like. It's going to be a set of four, but they're all gonna be four different colors. Um, I'm actually going to be at a pop-up shop and I just want to have some different things on my table. This is my first time and I just kind of want to have a variety of things. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So I have my first two colors out. And I'm going to get started with this lovely, lovely orange. Now this is like a neon orange and it's a jelly rhinestone. And today, for whatever reason, I'll just be using some E6000 just because that's just what I happen to have right now. And I have this wax pickup tool. I will have a link to where you can purchase this if you need it. Then I have my trusty Sharpie um, just to make this have a fuller look and so you won't see any clear behind it. It just looks a lot better to me when you color something um, before you add the rhinestones. And plus the jelly rhinestones tend to be a little transparent sometimes. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I purchased a case of I believe 24 shot glasses off Amazon under $22. So I'm just going to fill this in. And this is optional. You don't have to do this. You can just go ahead and get started with your rhinestones or you can use some little acrylic paint. That's actually much thicker and even uh, fuller of a look. But I'm just gonna go with this Sharpie and see how this looks. It doesn't have to look perfect. I just want this to just cover it up so I can just have that orange look behind my rhinestones. And I'll let it dry probably about 15 minutes. Once you go ahead and add the Sharpie coloring to the glasses, it doesn't take long for it to dry at all. This blue is such a pretty color. And I decided to do two other colors as well. Again, this part is optional, but this pink is very pretty. Of course, that's my favorite color. And then I love to use my gold rhinestone, so this is my gold Sharpie. I let these glasses dry for about 15 to 20 minutes in front of my trusty desk fan. Today I am using liquid fusion glue. So you'll just start off by adding a little bit of glue to the very bottom of the glass and then you'll just take your time and you'll gently place your rhinestones on side by side. And I just keep turning the glass and just go in a full circle and then I just keep going until I reach the top. This actually doesn't take that long. I like to say I did these glasses about maybe 20 minutes a piece or less. So maybe about an hour to do all four, which isn't really that bad. So just continue to watch me add the rhinestones to each glass. So also, look, just think about this. These will make some really pretty gifts to take to a bridal shower. Or if you are a bride and you can't think of anything and maybe you're on a tight budget, you can make one of these for your bridesmaids as a gift to your bridal party. And the way you would do it is you would either use the colors of your wedding or you just find out what your bridesmaid's favorite colors are and do a special specific color for each one. I think that would be like so cute. I was recently invited to a pop-up shop recently. Actually, it was yesterday, I think. 
No, it was two days ago. And I made these to put on my table just to have a nice variety of things. And of course, they sold right away. I think I have the gold one left, but they sold really quickly. I sold them, I think, for $12. I think I sold them for $10 a piece. I'm sure I could have gotten more, but by it being a pop up shop and what was already there was there, I just kind of went with easy math and just kind of, I don't know. People ask me all the time about pricing and how I set prices for things. I don't really even like to sell things, but every now and then I do take on new customers. I think I'll just end up doing a video about pricing and how to set prices or just give my little two cents about it, how you should come up with your own pricing. Um, I think I'll do that, but sometimes I just really have a hard time pricing stuff as well. It can be kind of tricky. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a really quick, simple DIY. You see, I'm just picking up the rhinestone, placing it right next to the other rhinestone that's already there. I feel like you can't mess this up. You really can't. And who doesn't like to drink? I mean, I don't, but most people do. And who doesn't want to have a cute shot glass to use, you know? So I just think this is going to be a big hit whenever you decide to give this to someone for their birthday. Or look, you can use multiple uh, different colors. You could do each row a different color, like a rainbow. Another thing I wanna say is this didn't take many rhinestones at all. This probably took about, what, 50, 60 rhinestones or less per glass. And just to let you know, I went up about seven rows to keep everything consistent. I did seven rows of rhinestones for each glass, just in case you were wondering. If you're wondering what size rhinestones I used on these glasses, I used five millimeter rhinestones. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished product. I think these look so glamorous. They're so sparkly. They're so cute. I love these shot glasses. I really, I would like to say as far as my favorite, if I had to choose, would be between the pink, of course, because that's my favorite color and the gold, I just love that gold, but this blue, look at this blue. This blue is gorgeous. It's like a midnight AB bluish greenish type color. And that orange, that neon orange is also popping. So they all look good. But of course for me, it's gonna have to be the pink. Let me know what you decide. Which one do you guys like the best? And I will have links available to the colors that I use if you're interested. Um, look for those in my description area. Again, I said this is something that's really simple. It may look like it's difficult. It's not. You can do this without the Sharpies. It won't look exactly like this, but it'll still look decent. Like in between the rhinestones, you'll just see clear. That's the only difference. I just think it looks better to see that same color behind the rhinestones. It's all about preference. But... Thank you guys for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Share it on Facebook if possible. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. And even if you don't subscribe, thanks for stopping by my channel. Bye bye.
be sure to check out these playlists where you can see more wine glasses, wine bottles, rhinestoned and glittered. Bye bye!